okay hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how to determine if the graphics card inside of the cpu is okay or not so first after the cpu gets a reset signal then it will send an svi comma svid command to the cpu power supply regulator to turn on the core supply after the core supply is generated then the cpu will go through the internal dmi bus through the pch to read the bios after the bias is read then it will start the self-test to check the ram which is done to smb clock and smb data after that is passed then the cpu will then send the DRAM reset signal to the RAM to reset the RAM and initialize the RAM and also initialize the graphics card. After the graphics card is initialized, then the CPU will send a second SVID command to turn on the graphics card supply, which is VCC GT. This is the internal graphics card. This voltage only comes within a few milliseconds after the, C the machine is turned on. This voltage is not always there, so it is only will be, it will be only generated if there is a game, if you're playing a game or watching a movie. Alright, to see this in action, you have to use oscilloscope because it happened very fast in a fraction of a few milliseconds and you cannot use multimeter to check this signal. So, you have to head over to the oscilloscope here. I'm going to show you. I've already set my voltage to 500 millivolts. My time base is set to 100 milliseconds. My trigger level is set to 520 milliseconds and my edge type is set to rising edge. So, I'm going to give power. Now, let's take a look at the screen. Alright, so as you can see, the RAM information is passed, everything is passed. So this indicates that this is 500 millivolts. So this is about 520 millivolts or 0.54 volts, right? So this is indicating that everything is okay with my CPU. The graphics card is okay and display is also okay. So this is how you can determine if the graphics card is okay or not. If the signal is continuous high, then the internal, if this volt, if this line is continuous high and getting a line, uh, a voltage of, of about one volts, then the graphics card is bad. You have to replace the CPU. So this is how you can determine if the CPU, the graphics card in the CPU is okay or not.